this clip starts with a male tree swallow guarding his nest box in Quebec, which contains six one-day-old young. You can see them begging in the nest cup, wiggling around. He drops down to check things, and as male tree swallows tend to do, he starts fussing with a piece of nest material. It must bother him, or maybe he thinks it's hazardous. So, out it goes. Then in comes the female, who lands at the side of the cup that contains the young. She looks down, feeds one begging young, then carefully moves over the cup and spreads her brood patch out and begins to brood. Now just as when she incubated her eggs, this brood patch functions to transfer heat, but now the heat is going to her tiny young. Since only female tree swallows have brood patches, only female tree swallows brood. She broods quietly, changing position every now and then, checking the young, repositioning herself, and settling her brood patch over them with a wiggle. But shortly, she hears the male approaching. He probably called as he came. All right, she jumps up. The male comes in, carefully feeds a young from the side of the nest. And then if you look carefully, you'll see a white little object in his mouth. There it was. That was a fecal sac a package of waste produced by the young he just fed. It's in one end and out the other. Now we're starting a second clip taken later on the same day. The young are one day old and we're showing how the adult tree swallows care for them when they're so small. The clip starts with the female brooding, repositioning herself and looking at her young from time to time. And perhaps she's catching short naps as she broods this time. I hope you've noticed that little side-to-side -side wiggle that she uses when she spreads and covers the young. It's the same motion she used back when she was incubating her eggs a few days ago. Now she really does seem to be sleeping. The only movements that we could detect were slight, very slight up and downs of her lower back as she breathed. Then her peace was interrupted as the male returned with more food. She took advantage of the relief to go out and find some food of her own. The male fed quickly and then went back up to stand guard duty again. Sometimes he has to wait for quite a while till the female comes back, but that's okay. That's his job. Actually, the parents' roles seem fairly consistent, don't they? For the female, it's get food, feed a young, then brood the little guys. For the male, it's get food, feed a young, 
then guard the box. Back and forth they go, relieving each other as they fulfill their different roles. They're a good, efficient team. Female's back, having fed, she settles down to brew. The start of the, the last clip from the same day, it's the female who was waiting, and then the male came in with food. See how big that insect is in his mouth? That may be easy for him to handle, but it's going to be tough for a small one-day-old young to get down its throat. Now usually, when the adults bring food, they're delivering not just single insects at each visit. Instead, they catch a whole bunch of small insects and one hunting trip and pack it into their mouths into what's called a bolus, which is a compact ball of uh, food. And then when they've got enough, they bring the bolus to the nest and feed. Normally, one bolus of food goes to just a single young each visit. But with these very small young, sometimes it looked to us as though one of the little guys couldn't eat the whole bolus and the adults would pass what was left on to another one. Well now the female's back and she fed a nestling and she settled back down to brood. That's her routine, isn't it? Bring food, feed, and brood. Sometimes these brooding sessions can go on for quite a while. She keeps on brooding, checking the young. Maybe she's even looking for a fecal sac underneath that pile of babies. Settle back down, brood some more. And there's a the male. Notice how carefully, how deliberately the adults place food in these little tiny mouths. Watch that nestling at the bottom struggling to swallow that that little bit of food. It doesn't take much to fill them up. The, the male just can't resist picking up a feather but then he realizes what his true duty is and he goes up to guard some more. I'm sure you're noting a pattern here, a rhythm to the way these two adult tree swallows are caring for their tiny young. And perhaps you've also noticed how the nest cup shape has been acting to keep the young together in one squirmy ball. Staying together in this way helps these naked little birds conserve heat.
So what you've been seeing in these three clips is very typical of the early days of parental care of tree swallow young. Later, as these young birds grow, and believe it or not, in less than two weeks, these tiny guys will weigh almost as much or as much as their parents. When they get bigger, things are going to get hectic in the nest, both for the parents and also for the young. So the female settles down to brood again, and the beat goes on.